Hey, welcome to the very first episode of the Scooter Show, where we make scooters fast and try not to break them. Can you believe that was our very first episode? Well, today we're going to continue on our OG project, the Yamaha CA50. I encourage you to go back and watch episode 1, 2, and 3, and watch us try to fit the Minarelli long case in this. So eventually we tore it all the way down to bare bones, and we were playing with ideas how we can make the suspension better. So with a walk to our parts bin and a few beers, we came out with this brilliant idea of putting a Melossi F32 fork into this tiny, tiny Yamaha scooter. Now, none of this idea made any logical sense. But we tried it anyway, and it, it looked good, so we decided to go for it. Full of motivation, we were sure we can bang this out in two weeks. Well, let's see how that went. Hey everybody, this is Joe Casola at St. Cycle Works, and today's project is to take the stem from the CA50 fork on the left and put it in the Molossi triple tree on the right. The goal being to be, get this Molossi fork to mount up properly in the CA50 chassis. Okay, so step one is going to be to take this angle grinder and big old cutoff wheel and cut off the stem of this and get this with a hole board through the center of it to be able to press the other stem into it and then weld it down at the bottom, all to be at the same exact length that it was. Badass. Okay, so now that we've got the stem cut off and we've got it mounted down into the uh, Bridgeport mill, the goal being to mill the face of this off and then also bore a hole down the middle that's going to be exactly the same plane parallel to the fork tubes. So it's just got to be perfectly straight, basically a hole exactly the way the stem was before. Okay, so now that we've got that faced off over on the mill, we've got to move on to this fork now. And we've got to take out this stem, but the problem being is I can't just like cut it right here, because then it'll be too short. We need to have the bearing race. So I really need to actually get this fork out somewhere down in here so that it can press into the other one, uh, have a lot of meat in it, and then I can give it some nice solid welds on the top and bottom. So I've got to start cutting all this stuff away from here to try to get this tube out from what it is. Um, the way I think I'm going to try to do it actually is to cut all this stuff off here with the grinder and then I'm going to chuck it up in the lathe and see if I can just turn it off and, and, uh, and get all that stuff off of there on the lathe. It's a little uh, unorthodox to do sheet metal in the, in the lathe but I think it might be able to work out. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so now I got everything turned away from it and all cleaned up and, and made to size. It's all perfectly straight, it's in ready to press in. So the goal now is to bore the hole in the triple tree there that is exactly two thousandths smaller 
than this diameter on the end. And what that'll do is give you a two thousandths clearance fit. And it'll be a really nice tight fit, and I know it's not gonna wiggle around when I go to weld it. Okay, so now we're back over to the mill, and our goal now is to bore a hole in here that's exactly two thousandths smaller than this dimension right here. This dimension on my micrometers is what the stem is that needs to press into it. And the way we're going to do that is actually with this boring head. And what this boring head does is allow me to put a tool here, either here, out here, all the way out here on this one. And I can bore pretty much any size hole that I want precisely. This is actually how I'm going to be repairing your guys' rotary pads on, on a P200 cases or any of the Vespa cases for that matter. Once I weld them up, I'll be able to use this boring head and precisely mill out the, uh, the rotary pad area again so it's nice and clean. Okay, so if everything goes right, I should be able to press this stem in there without a whole lot of pressure on it. gap in here for me to do my weld. So now it's 2019, we got all our parts and it's time to finally put it back together. Well actually, let's just mock it up first, see if everything works out. I don't know. Um, it's a Melosi. <laughs> it's a four. Show the wells. That's as good as it's gonna get. What you just saw there was an act of mild yet necessary violence. The threads were a little gunked up, so we needed some force to clean them. Are you filming? Uh, thanks for ruining it. But, look, I know a good idea when I see one. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, just fuck it. Maybe. Huh? Maybe. <laughs> nice and long is what I'm thinking. Long as opposed to like. Yeah, cool. yeah I agree with that. 
As you can see, we needed to cut a lot of the plastics to make the fork work. And we took the chance to fix some of the cracks that were in there. I think these are called drift stitches. Plastina. We're gonna abruptly end here, cause the engine and all that stuff I don't actually want to show yet. So tune in in the next video where I'm gonna show you exactly what's going on there. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video.